meow. So I am going to draw here for you this this crazy kitty that got itself into a crazy sleeping position, head down, butt up on a pillow. That's a paw there. Just getting those shapes in roughly at first. Cats get themselves into all kinds of crazy positions, don't they? And those positions are really fun to draw. I encourage you to draw from life too. There's nothing like drawing from life. You learn so much and you can apply those skills to your drawing from photos too. And that ear was a little squashed. Yeah, I need a bit more at the top. I have taken to doing voiceovers for my drawing videos because that way when I'm drawing I can concentrate on my drawing and and it's really kind of cool to look at it after too while I while I do the voiceover. Oh, and we have a Facebook group and I'd be happy if you join if you love to draw cats. You will find the link for that group in the video description below. So give it a whirl, check it out, join us if you really want to draw cats. Just kind of quickly getting those mouth lines in and a spot for the nose. Starting to think things over a little more carefully at this stage. Not that I'm not thinking things over at first, um, but I'm just kind of quickly getting the shapes in at first. Got to map out the spot for those eyes and just kind of quickly get them in. Sleepy kitty. Pondering. Thinking about every stroke at this stage. And these quick sketches are, are such great practice and they're great for learning to draw for painting or anything else. Or you might want to carry those skills to a more polished drawing of this same pose. Always learning while you're sketching, that's for sure. When asked what is my best work, I just say my next work. Uh, those lines might look a little bit strong yet on this drawing, but it's still a work in progress, so that's okay. Quick toe lines. Because we don't really see or focus on the toe lines. Oh yes, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on that little notification button so you don't miss a video. Just kind of polishing things up a little here. Just want to make it look like that head is resting on the on the leg, on the arm, whatever you want to call it. Chubby stripes are great for helping shape the contour of the head. And they add so much expression to thinking, pondering. I encourage you also to watch it once while I'm talking and then also turn off the sound and watch it on its own without the 
the narration. That way you can focus more on what I'm doing, I guess. I don't know, whatever works for you. Same as with your drawing. Take what works for you and make it your own. Gotta add that pillow so Kitty's got something to rest on. And again, tabby stripes help him shape the contour of that arm. They're great for that. And just a bit of wiggle lines in there. Just, you know, a hint of tabby stripes up there just so there isn't too much empty space. And I want to make it look like that ear is resting on something. That's why that line there, because otherwise it's a weird looking ear for being suspended up in the air. I'm liking it. I think I might do another one of this one. Take my skills forward. Thanks for watching.